I've just seen the Richard Gell interview, or as he's otherwise being referred to on the net as The Rat, in response to the interview of Casey Haynes. I watched his facial responses, I listened to the tone in his voice, I did not believe a single word he said. Now, it's, it's like I say, he, it's like I said in my last video, Casey did the right thing, although he had to physically lift the kid up and slam him to the floor, I don't, as I said in the last video, I don't condone violence because I'm a pacifist by nature, but Casey stood up for himself and said enough is enough, and again Casey, I applaud you for that. With Richard, however, or, you know, Master Gale is insinuating that Casey started on him first and, you know, he is just as guilty as, as Richard is. Now, yes. Now, where's the proof? We only have your word to go by on this. Um... Now, Casey said in his interview that he'd been bullied for quite a few years. He'd been heckled, called names, even had his friends ditch him. Now, if, if, if people are true friends, they will stick by, stick by them, whether the situation's good, bad, or indifferent. Um, I don't condone what Casey's former friends did, and I suspect, at th I suspect at this point they wish they had still hung out with him. But that's another matter. And it clearly shows in the video that it has become somewhat of a viral icon, is that you, Master Gale, started... Does he know Master Bruce? I don't know. Perhaps <laughs> we should ask. Yay! You started on Master Haynes' First. Does he know Master Bates? I'll be good. You started on Casey first. If Casey now, to be fair to Casey, if if he he was quite mature about the situation because looking at his size and weight, I'm not not ha not hating on you, Casey, and just calling it like I see it. All right. Richard. To, to you, Richard. Casey is twice your size and your weight, and from for, from anyone that has that is capable of lateral, intelligent, logical thought, you don't go picking a fight with somebody that could eat you at Wendy's. Red Cyclone. Um, it's like I say, you just don't go there, and Casey proved that when he body slams you to the floor. And I want to make a quick um, reference to Three Cats Scratching, Scratching's video. Hope I said your name right, by the way. Uh -huh. He said there, there are different levels of force. There's equal force. You punch me, I punch back. That's equal. What Casey used was greater force. Now, for the most part, in that short clip that's been, as I say, seen all over the world. Casey tried to be mature about it and not lay a finger on him because, you know, it's the mature thing to do. It actually takes more maturity and courage to say no and walk away from a fight than it is to get involved with one. But at the same time, Casey said, enough is enough. I'm not taking this anymore. And promptly put you in your place, and after that, he walked away, situation dissolved. And, I mean, I've just listened to Jim81Jim's um, video response on that. With some of the questions Richard was asked, he hesitated with most of them, whereas Casey, he was prompt, he answered them very calmly, uh, with, a lot, with a lot of maturity for... A young man of 16 and Casey your maturity is beyond your years and that I uh, I praise you for that 
But with Richard, I, I could not believe a single word that was coming out of his mouth. And the fact that he made the smirk, that douchebag smirk, yeah, I'm quoting you now on that, on that Jim. Good, uh, good, uh, no, good uh, thing to note, by the way. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I appreciate Richard's just a kid, but I'm sorry, I have got no sympathy. Um, again, I don't condone the violence, but you got what you had coming to you. Now, I can't speak for everyone else around the world that has said and what they feel about Richard. That's their hang-up. That's their opinion. I speak only for me. I would not wish anything harmful on my worst enemy. That's, that's just the person I am. That's just, you know, my nature. But the only thing I will say to young Master Gale is this. You need to do a lot of growing up because you've clearly found out that you cannot keep going around doing that. I, I mean, I'm, I might, there might be a lot of things I don't know the situation of, but you've now learned that you can't go and pick a fight with someone who's twice your size. And Casey, you can now look at life with a much more positive and cheerful perspective. And I hope now this situation can dissolve itself, move on, and everybody can learn to get on with their fellow neighbours and all of us can, you know, enjoy life a little bit more without, without feeling negative about one another. I'm MJ Knight. That has been my opinion. I thank you for your time. And now a word from a man who likes bacon. Oh, oh yeah. I've eaten too long here. I better go sit down, right? Uh, hang on a second. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> Hello, my lovers! Oh, hang go be serious, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Hello, my lovers. Richard Bacon here, Bristolian director at your service, right? Now, it's been brought to my attention that one of my lovers had been bullied. I don't like that. I was bullied when I was a child for having slippers on my head. I didn't like it. My mother dressed me with slippers, and I thought it was good. Now, I learned that my lover, he power slammed a little turnip into the ground. Well done, my lover. You had done good. Come sits by our Richard. Speaking of which, there's another Richard who's been causing trouble. You little turnipy ra- <laughs> Don't eat you listen to me. You dare not share my name. I'm going to call you Rep Boy. Right. Now. You were one of my lovers and then you did something stupid. And I'm furious at you. You touch my turnips and my lovers and I f And fix your teeth, you f Susan Boyle. Right? Well, anyway, my lovers, I hope you do well there, Casey. My, I take my hat off to you, but I haven't washed my hair recently, so I'm very sorry about that. But, um, I'll see you later. We've got to leave, right?